Um, this video is um, coming from a um, Washington DC area and um, it is a, about six years old so I'm gonna just dive in enjoy hey y'all in the spirit of Halloween per se I guess I'm gonna keep on rolling with these uh, horrific truth is crime um just bear with me i probably got maybe three more to go and it might bleed into november but come that november i will try out different content and only because i me personally i get bored with every day so i'm bored with this at this point so we're gonna move on and i i honor everyone who has enjoy any videos on this topic but we will be moving on to something else the disappearance of Felicia Rudd age 8 years old has been 6 years since she first was reported Felicia was missing for approximately three weeks. Why? It's because her mother refused to file a missing person report due to the fact that she one lived in their shelter and two she claimed to believe that her child was with her grandmother at the time for those three weeks. So those are the reasons why. Oh and she also did not want the proper authorities who deals with the children's services to come and basically take her kids away for her other cat kid being missing because nine times out of ten that is what they do um however the grandmother actually said that that was not true and Shamika later didn't want to lose custody of her kids there were also video camera footage capturing the young child with a family friend. Relisha Rudd was captured on camera with a family friend by the name of Khalil Tatum. This particular footage happens to capture Alicia and Mr. Tatum walking in to a hotel room. However, they never seen Miss Relisha ever return out of the room. The last known whereabouts of Relisha Rudd was in this hotel room. Relisha Rudd stopped attending school, according to city officials. The rest of Relisha family was still living in a shelter. Shamika, Relisha's mom, said she befriended Tatum because he seemed to be a kind friend. A kind she also said that Tatum would often take Relisha out of the shelter and return to her later on in the day. It seems that Tatum and Relisha had routine outings. Reports shows from a timeline after that recording starting with the following. One, police says Tatum purchased the following. A shovel, lime, and construction or well, contractors size trash bags. Two, 
he spent a large amount of time in Kennel's, Kennelworth Park. And three, after he posed as a doctor and told a city official who were concerned for Relisha's safety that he was treating her for a neurological disorder. He then tells the same city officials that he will be at the shelter with Relisha when they stop by to pick up the proper paperwork to, I guess, confirm what he has said. After he posed as a doctor and told a city official that Relisha had a neurological disorder that he was treating, Mr. Tatum then tells the same city official that he will go ahead and leave the paperwork while he is also at this shelter at the same shelter he will leave those paperwork with them so they can pick it up however when they got there where Alicia nor Mr. Tatum was nowhere to be found in the shelter shortly after that the missing person report was filed with DC police while searching for Alicia Police found Tatum's wife deceased at the Otson Hill Red Roof Inn. Police obtained an arrest warrant for Tatum pertaining to his wife's murder. Days later, Khalil Tatum was found deceased at the same Kenilworth Park and Aquatic Garden from self-inflicted wounds. Investigators worked into the possibility that Khalil Tatum had murdered both his wife and Relisha and only buried her in the However, her body was never found. Since Relisha's disappearance, police have searched for her in many locations, including the Acosta River and the areas around her then place of residency, which would be the shelter at that time. If you have any information concerning the whereabouts of Miss Alicia Wood, please reach out to the DC police and that is the Washington DC police. Thank you. Um, I just would like to give you a quick um, thank you for just purchasing any of my t-shirts and continue to purchase because um, that helps me build my channel and my business itself and make it a stronger brand if you have any other questions concerns feel free to DM me on the proper pages or you can just leave a comment um I designate time to look at all my comments and all of my videos so if you have dropped a comment I have not respond please understand that I haven't seen it yet so thank you um, quick thing um, I have two pieces of jewelry that I got from Anna Louisa so I'm just going to plug them because I am enjoying the jewelry that I have got for them. This particular necklace, I swear I probably stopped it for a whole year before I could even get my hands on it. And 
the fortunate thing was um, the original one that I seen was probably three times the price and when I went on Ana Luisa I seen one just like it for a fraction of the price I also have um, my Ana Luisa bracelet it is so cute um, it was the first thing that I wanted to get so yeah and they also come in these cute little packages um, I like the pouch it's easy for storage that is a good one um, another thing is I have these Ipsy um, subscriptions and yeah Ipsy is um, the bomb.com I know one of, no one says that anymore but it is cool I have um, this is my October one and it says um, your magic and then I also have uh, my August one and it's cute because it was just fall colors um, and in it it came with several many cute little makeup things such as um, the makeup foundation that I'm using tonight and some of the mascara and eyeliner now I I liner so sorry um i'm looking for them to send me some more makeup such as lipstick and more eyeshadows because right now i just started using like the blushes and stuff and i just haven't did anything with it tell me what you think hey my loves i just want to say thank you to all my subscribers i am so excited thank you thank you Hey my loves, just know I will leave everything you need to know in the description.